What's good, West Texas? We've ended the month of November on a pretty warm note. We started out today at St. Angelo's Mathis Field in the 50s and high temperatures in the 70s. Thankfully, though, we weren't quite as hot as we were back in 1950. 81, the record high according to our daily almanac for November 30th. Outside right now, though, it's a, a little bit chillier. Got temperatures in the 50s, only in the 40s places like Snyder. We had that Pacific cold front come through today, and we're going to see that cold air continue to filter, and that's why you're seeing these much cooler temperatures in the big country. Most of all the shower and thunderstorm activities that stayed well off to the east right now, moving into Louisiana and Arkansas here at home though, not a lot going on with radar. We did see a couple thunderstorms in the big country. Thankfully though, no severe or impactful weather. All of the clear skies, it looks like it's gonna continue. Could see some clouds early Friday morning, but any clouds, they should clear out by the afternoon. However, Friday night into Saturday morning, I think we're gonna see those clouds start to redevelop across West Central Texas. The reason why, is thanks to this upper level low pressure system, it's going to bring some clouds to the region. And normally we would be concerned about that rain, but there isn't going to be enough Gulf moisture returning to West Central Texas. That's why I'm not anticipating any rain this weekend. Unfortunately, we could really use the rain. Although we are seeing improvement in our drought. Behind our next upper level low, we're gonna see a ridge of high pressure start to develop. And that's really gonna reinforce that calm weather. Also that pretty warm weather. Now, it's not gonna be hot by any stretch of the word, but temperatures in the 60s flirting with the 70 degree mark. I do think we're gonna start to see some more of those heading into the first week of December. Tomorrow morning though, First day of December, and it's gonna be pretty chilly. Wouldn't be surprised if some temperatures even got into the 30s. So I'm not expecting any freezes, so shouldn't have to worry about your pipes or anything like that. But it is definitely gonna be a chilly one. I'm gonna want a jacket going out the door tomorrow morning. Friday evening, if you're wanting to put up your Christmas lights for the first day of December, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful weather to do it 60s by 5 p.m. After the sun sets, it is gonna cool off quite a bit. Gonna be in the 50s by seven o'clock. You're probably not gonna need a jacket though. Winds certainly not gonna be causing any problems. Westerly winds about five miles an hour. So any Friday evening plans, they look like there should be no problems at all. Got that high of 69 forecasted for your Friday with those westerly winds. Weekend. It's honestly a lot of the same weather. We might have temperatures in the 30s and 40s waking up, but tapping out right around that 70 degree mark. Similar story in the big country. Bert, unfortunately, I don't have any big cold snaps in my seven day forecast, but it does look like we're gonna have some pretty consistent weather. Bert, 